everything is checked in and we are going to Cancun. We left the house around 7.15 a.m. Since our flight was around 10.15, we thought it would be best to reach the airport at least three hours prior to the flight time. So we reached Pearson International Airport and looked for the Sunwing counter. There was a lineup, but that was for priority boarding. So they asked us to go towards a foreign passport line and that line was pretty empty. The person who checked us in asked for our passports, tickets, PR card and visa and they gave us seats together so we had a great experience with the rep. So our gate number is B26. Look on that side. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we are on the gate number B26. We brought an empty water bottle and filled it up at the airport. So we are on our way towards gate B26. That's where our flight is from. And I think the entire check-in took us around 30 minutes. Yeah, but they are doing like a very good job. Thorough checklist, security, checking that you have visas to come back to Canada. So return to Canada. Also now we are at the movies. Always oh, gotta get something to eat on your flight because flight doesn't have anything. I mean, you can get it, but it's paid. Yeah, we would rather have dinner. So once we grabbed our food, we saw the Sunwing signs, which gave us the instructions on what to do next. We actually had to take an escalator downstairs because they, uh, there'll be a bus we have to board. But later we will take us towards our flight. First time I'm experiencing this kind of thing. Usually the flight's always been at the gate, so that's something new. The bus was already standing there, so the boarding didn't take long. There were around 30 people in there, so it wasn't crowded as well. And from here, it took us, I would say, like 15 minutes to go from the gate itself to the other terminal. It did take some time, but we were not worried because we did have enough time before the boarding. And I do believe a lot of buses were going back and forth from this terminal, uh, from the main airport to this terminal. Yeah, it didn't take 10 minutes. It's not that bad. I think most of the people here are going on our flight because we have been talking about it. Yeah. Here we saw another gate number, um, which wasn't too far to be honest because this is a smaller terminal. We waited around 30 minutes and then it was time to board. So our plane was the best jet plane because Sunwing and BestJet have a partnership. Um, everything was very nice and clean, nothing broken. And on this menu, we actually found out that we get complimentary drinks and snacks in the flight. We got lucky we had the window and middle seats so we can get nice feels. And not after long, we were ready to take off. And here's to 10 minutes it takes for the plane to actually get into the zone of actually taking off. <laughs> Lol. Um, and here we go in the air by Toronto we are not gonna be missing you for the next seven days after 30 to 40 minutes we got this custom form that we need to fill it's either one per person or one if you're traveling as a family make sure you grab an extra one just in case because it's really hard to find these at the airport Midway to the flight, we got these snacks. It was like a cookie or pretzel you can choose from and any drink you like. Our flight was for three and a half hours, but we were so excited and enjoying the views. We barely felt the time pass from. The closer we got to Cancun, we started seeing the blue waters and that amazing Caribbean vibes. Finally, our plane landed in Cancun. It was a really smooth landing and we're so excited to finally be in Mexico and enjoy Cancun. We have arrived. Yes, yes. finally here. We haven't told this where we'll find our bags, but we'll follow the rest of the people. Yeah, we're very excited. And, uh, 
it was easy to navigate through the Cancun airport and we were actually very prepared to stay here for at least an hour because we heard there were long lineups at the immigration but it was very fast there was no lineup at all maybe it took like 20 minutes uh, and then we were on to collecting our bags I was stopped for inspection. <laughs> it was a random inspection and she got stopped. Uh, actually, they asked us to press a button. Yeah. And it would give you like a green light or a red light. And I got a red light. I have to go through the inspection process. We are entering the zone where everybody says you should be careful. So actually, it wasn't that bad at all. We had like a few people come in and ask us um, if you want a taxi and once we said no, they didn't really bother us. So we just went straight ahead looking for our Sunwing rep. Beautiful and it's so warm, so different than yeah, <laughs> Toronto warm. weather. So we're going to go to the Sunwing rep and let them know that we are here with Sunwing. Yeah, the point is the Sunwing rep is supposed to be wearing orange t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Orange shirts and like a sombrero hat, that's how you know that we are the real yeah. representatives. Because there were like a lot of people in orange hats. Yeah. So the Sunwing rep uh, took in our information and entered that in her tablet. She told us where we'll find the transportation that will take us to our hotel and guided us towards that area. Crowded, but most of these people are from our flight, and we're all taking the bus together, which is included in our package. We have to look for Julio, Julio. so let's go and find them. <laughs> we're just waiting here for our bus, everyone's actually waiting here, they're getting everybody seated, um, and then they'll take us to our hotel. I think they've divided the different shuttles and we have a different deck. So this is the shuttle that we got. On their list, we were the first people who were going to get dropped off, so that was great. The journey started from the airport all the way to our resort. And honestly, it was just like 15 to 16 minutes, not far at all, very smooth. And here it is, the very first look at our resort, our home for the next seven days, GR Caribe by Solaris. So checking into the resort was a pretty smooth process. The guard at the resort talked to our driver for the shuttle and they matched our names. Uh, we were dropped off right at the front gate of our resort. Here another staff member took our bags and then gave us a ticket which basically meant that our bags will be directly delivered to our room so we didn't have to carry our bags all the way up which was great. First impression, it looks really amazing. We were so happy that it looks exactly like the pictures that we saw online. Once we got here, we did our check-in, got our room keys, we had to pay like hotel tax, and then we were free to go up to our room or explore. Since we didn't have like our big bags, we decided to go up the stairs, take in all the views instead of using the elevator, and we were not disappointed. This is our room. Look at that. Forget about everything else. That is our view when we come out of the room. Unbelievable. Right? <laughs> like, I'm literally. Even if everything else here was, is not good, <laughs> just this view is totally worth it, right? Oh my god. And here is where a little bit of a trouble, like a funny struggle, started. Yeah, it's green light. I think it should be. After numerous failed tries, the thinking will do it. The person bringing our bags and maybe they can help us. He is also nowhere to be seen <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, but this place actually looks really nice. The vegetarian vibes. Yes. We finally got a photo. They showed us. No, down out. What do you think? 
let's check out our lagoon look. Look at the sandal. That's I good. Know. It's like a cute little look to have breakfast in the morning if you're not going out for buffet and stuff. Yes. Really Just cute. room service and food and everything is cute in our exactly. bathroom. So we might actually enjoy this place. The bedroom is pretty clean. Always checked in the past. Always, always, always. It looks pretty cool. Let's check out the bathroom. This is nice. Damn. <laughs> right? I mean, oh, that's so cute. I love that. Check the mirror. The shower is also very nice and clean. They've given us a lot of The rain shower? Yeah. Yeah. And it's still very cute. Bubbles. There's a safe for you to keep your passports and your money and stuff. Iron, iron board, cameras, clothes, okay. and then some shelves here as well. All of these empty. Yeah. <laughs> I think they said there should be a mini fridge somewhere here. So this is also all included, so we can always ask them to use it. And here you can have tap water, so that's a good yeah, thing that they have six water. And I think they have coffee, mini mocha. This is coffee. Oh, you try it. Nice. So yeah, how would you rate it? So far, I'm like loving it. Yeah. We were very happy with the way the room looked, the way the resort looked. So this was our travel from Toronto all the way to Cancun. We hope you enjoyed this vlog and please subscribe to our channel to see more videos of us exploring Cancun. Until then, bye! bye.